the temperatures that we can achieve in these experiments are actually the coldest temperatures in the known universe. My name is Markus Greiner and I'm a physicist at Harvard. In my team we work with atoms at extremely cold temperatures. In outer space the, 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 the temperature is actually a few Kelvin above absolute zero temperature, a few degree above absolute zero, but, but we are only a very tiny fraction away from absolute zero temperature, only pico Kelvin away. Um, it is actually a really tiny fraction if you imagine you have a thermometer that reaches all the way from here to the moon and where the room temperature reads like at the moon and the zero temperature reads here, then we are only the width of a hair away from absolute zero temperature. We cool the atoms by using laser light. We slow them down actually. And what you might think is that at, at, if you're that close to absolute zero temperature that everything is just at standstill, but that's not the case. Instead, quantum mechanics really takes over with all its uh, quantum weirdness and really amazing effects. For example, we create synthetic matter where um, we place ultra-cold atoms into an optical lattice where they can move around and this is now a model system for a real material. In a real material you have electrons moving around um, in a crystal that is formed by the ions. We now have atoms moving around in a crystal formed by light. With that we can do quantum simulation and really address all kind of open questions uh, of this condensed matter physics and material science and so on uh, with these quantum simulations. The field of quantum simulation with ultra cold atoms is a really hot and exciting topic right now with lots of ideas and experiments coming out all the time. What is special in our experiments is that we have built a quantum gas microscope with which we can image all the individual atoms in this synthetic matter in a snapshot. We can even take movies like here for example you can see how atoms um, move in the optical lattice. These individual green dots are atoms moving up and down here. So a quantum computer is this kind of idea that using quantum mechanics you can build a computer that for certain programs, uh, problems is way more powerful than any classical computer. If you do a quantum simulation in an optical lattice, even if you just have 10 by 10 atoms, the, uh, these atoms can do things that cannot be calculated on the largest uh, supercomputer. Today's technology is based on the basic research that happened 20, 30 years ago. And so we can really now find the new effects, the new things that could lead to amazing technologies and achievements in the future, for example.